Once upon a time, a lion was out walking, looking for some lunch. And as he walked, he saw the leaves starting to rustle. He took his giant paw and grabbed all those leaves and whatever it was that was underneath them. When he picked up his paw, he had a little mouse dangling by her tail. Well, you're not much for food, but you'll do for an appetizer. Ah, uh, when he heard a voice, please don't eat me, please, 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 please. Mouse, dare you talk to me, the king of the jungle? Yes, yes, please, please don't eat me. I, I promise I will help you someday. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, but I promise I will help you. Please don't, just don't eat me. Hmm. Well, if nothing else, I admire your gumption. All right, you can go, but don't let me catch you again. And that mouse scurried off as fast as she could. A few weeks later, Lion again was out looking for lunch. When, without realizing it, he set his paw into a trap. Suddenly, that whole big net that was buried under those leaves picked him up and pulled him up into a tree. He began to roar! And that mouse, who was not too far away, heard him. Lion needs my help. I should go help him. And so she ran as fast as her little legs could carry her. She saw a lion trapped up there in that tree. I'll help you. I'll help you, she said. But that lion couldn't hear her. He was too busy roaring and struggling. His claws were out and still nothing did any good. She climbed up that tree, climbed out on that branch, and she began to nibble on those, uh, on the ropes holding that net together. Snap, the first string broke. Snap, the second one broke. Lion felt that one. Oh! Mouse! Mouse! Good job, little friend! Keep chewing! Mouse chewed more and more. Snap! Snap! Two more broke. And then they heard a sound. It sounded like two men talking in the distance. Hurry! Hurry! The hunters are coming back! And so Mouse chewed as fast as she could. Snap! Snap! Enough of the ropes broke that Lion was able to squeeze out of that hole. He leapt from that net down onto the ground. But he didn't run away. Well, are you coming, little friend? Yeah. And so that mouse leapt from that branch and landed in Lion's soft furry mane. And the two ran off together, safe from those hunters. And to this very day, Lion and Mouse are still friends. And neither one of them has ever decided what their friend should or should not be able to accomplish. Thank you.